What's up, buddies? On the Groms, what is up, guys? We are out here with a freaking gorgeous day, finally. And I just say entirely too much pizza. But yeah, I figured today was an R3 day. It's been a minute since I've rode the R3. And you know, I can't, I gotta give her the attention she deserves. You know what? You know what I'm saying, my guys and girls? The poor R3 was covered in spider webs and all that fun stuff. And oh, hello, guys. Freaking squad over there. Um. Yeah, I was covered in freaking spider webs and I forgot just how comfortable this bike really was. Like, super duper comfortable over here. Holy exhaust leak from hell, Mr. Accord. So, funny, good, kind of bad. It's, it's in the middle of a good and a bad story, okay? So, basically, the road that I have to take that goes towards my house, when we first moved in, this road was freaking perfect, okay? Like... It, it was it was probably the best freaking road I'd ever been on in the city that I live in because the roads out here are haggard. Uh, <laughs> nice IS Playboy with your fake wheels. Oh my gosh, shots fired. Uh, no offense if you have fake wheels. I mean, come on, every build has its own, right? Anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, so this road was super nice, and then like a year and a half, two years later. Like, all of a sudden, they were all like, we gotta put new pipelines in under the road. So they completely destroyed the road that I have to take to get to my house, okay? Like, it, it, it's awful. Like, it is, it was ridiculous. Like, even in the SUV, like, it feels like you're going off-roading. Like, that's, that's how bad the road was. Like, just, I, I don't know how you mess up pavement that bad, but hey, they managed to do it, right? So as of um, yesterday, they randomly showed up and just graded the whole road, like just ripped it all up, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, sweet, they're about to freaking repave it, right? So I'm like, yay, finally, oh, it's been a long time coming, right? And um, yeah, let me tell you something hilarious. This graded road is 10 times smoother than the road was before they graded it. And it's pretty sad, like that's how bad this road actually was after they put the pipelines in pipelines in like it, it is insane like i don't understand how you could leave a road that bad i know i just said that but i feel like their supervisor was like it'd be all right you know what i'm saying like it just honestly it, it doesn't make any sense how you could leave a road that bad off but yeah they ripped it up and so now the graded is smoother than the road was prior right so i'm like oh, sweet i mean i can even deal with a graded road except for the fact that now the drop off from my driveway to the road is about like that like it's a good like five six inches which means i can't leave in the skyline because you know there's no way even if i angle it the way that the road is and the way that my driveway connects to it it it, it, it won't work right so i can't drop the skyline until they repave it well they put the base coat down on like a third of the road and that is a really nice truck, my guy. I dig it. Anyway, uh, sorry, I got ADD again. Um, so um, I was going to drive the Skyline, drive the Skyline, drive the Skyline around because you know, I haven't been able to drive it because I was going to drive it the other day, but then they were ripping up the road and they literally just left like this heap, like this. I mean, I don't, I don't know what people here think about like when they're doing road construction, but they really don't know how to do it. So there was this heap in my driveway that was like this big i couldn't get in or out and i was like the wife was in the suv and i was like you're like i hope they have it cleaned up by the time you get home luckily they did barely like she almost got home now keep in mind this was like 4 30 so it took them that long to clean up the road it, it was just nuts right but i mean hey they finally cleaned it up but yeah it, I can't I can't get the skyline out of the driveway anymore which blows but okay I'm getting sidetracked again um they did this uh like base coat I guess you would call it and I don't know if you guys have seen like Disney's Pixar's freaking the movie cars or whatever but I remember when like uh Doc Hudson was giving Light and McQueen a hard time and made him pave the road and it was just like all blah, 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 and like just sloppy all over the place rough that's what it looks like now where this base coat is I guess that's what you call it I don't know I don't pave roads but yeah it is freaking jank well, I mean, I get a top coat, yeah, so, or bottom coat. I, I don't know. Okay, it's something. Either way, it looks like ass. 
Oh no, is it gonna rain on us? I hope not. Yeah, speaking of rain, I haven't even been able to get out. Cause like every time that I'm about to get out, like it was nice all day the other day and I'm like, sweet. I'm totally gonna freaking ride here in a minute. And then as soon as I go to get out, it just like storm cloud out of nowhere and then piss pours. So that's been my luck lately. Yeah, I'm super pumped about like <laughs> actually gonna have a paved road for once. Well, not for once, it was nice when I moved in, but it's been ass for a while. So now I'm just excited to have a nice road back, you know, when they, when they finish it, obviously it's not nice. Now, okay, I'm just gonna stop talking. So I'm pretty sure I told you guys, if not, I'm sorry, but I'm pretty sure I told you guys that my wife listed the R3. Well, she had it sold and she changed her mind and was just like, ah, I don't think I can do it. You know what I'm saying? So she took down her listing. So I'm like, <laughs> sweet. Well, I think part of that was because I, I, I think she kind of notices me kind of leaning towards maybe possibly selling the R1. Don't get me wrong. Like, I don't want to sell it. And like, you, you guys can try to talk me out of it if you just want, want me to keep it on the channel and like all that fun stuff. But like here's the thing i'm in this stage of my life where like when i bought this thing i was like i have to be the fastest thing on the freaking road right and like that was, that was my logic behind buying the r1 and the fact that i think it's the sexiest bike on the planet besides the ducati panigale Dude, what a ducati panigale okay those are sexy bikes but they require too much maintenance for my taste right well um so i pulled the trigger on the r1 love the bike sexy bike i still love it like I, like every time i look at it i'm like you know i don't think i ever want to get rid of this bike and like a part of me doesn't and considering it's the first brand new thing i've ever owned like that's another reason why i want to keep it right but then another part of me is kind of like you know you've had your fun with it like I, I think you need to get out of the whole like speed demon thing all right and i mean that's that's it's kind of like my point that i'm getting with it is like every time i get on it i feel like i just have to be like pegged out like i gotta ride that thing balls to the freaking wall and i just feel like it's only a matter of time before something happens and i, I know i know now i just sound like oh my god what are you doing when did you turn into like such a pansy like listen hear me out like i wonder where this road goes i've never been on it oh nope says dead end okay we're not going on that road all right it says no outlet whatever um I'm not I'm not trying to like sound like that uh, I'm I'm basically just trying to be like I want something fun that I can enjoy that can take curves because I mean let's be honest like you guys who have seen a lot of my videos most of the back roads that I ride on they're either really really tight corners and like the dragon for example it's really nice but let's be honest like can I actually use the R1 to its full potential up there I mean, yeah if i was like a pro rider or like you know like something like that and i'm not by any means i just i i just like to have fun you know you know what i mean like i'm, I'm not that good of a ride i'm a good rider i'm confident in everything but um i just i'm not on that level to use the r1 to a full potential on a tight course like that right and with that being said all the other back roads around here they've got like gravel washed out and stuff like that and it's kind of like you know you still can't use the r1 to its full potential right well i really want an fc or an mt07 i've always loved those bikes but it's still a yamaha i love yamahas obviously so like i i want to get one i feel like i'm just going on this really long tangent and you guys are going to be like bro what is happening to you well i don't know but i just i guess i kind of had like an epiphany or not epiphany i don't know talk me out of it or don't talk me out of it talk me more into it i don't know buy the r1 i don't, I don't know do something but i guess like if somebody had an fc or an mt and they wanted to like trade me and then add some cash to it like totally i would be 100 percent down to do that right but I don't think I would sell the R1 for just like any price, you know, just to like have it gone. Because I'm not going to do that. I'm still comfortable on the bike. I love the bike. It's an awesome freaking bike. And I don't want to get rid of it. But I just feel like I should, you know. I, I don't know. I mean, insurance isn't the cheapest on it. I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to put it like that into blame. Because I know like i've got to have insurance on every bike i own so it's kind of like irrelevant as to uh we're not going to sit at that red light we're going to turn right here um take this really crappy road and see where blah, 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 blah. but like I, I don't know like i feel like if i could get the right price out of it i feel like i don't even know what i'm talking about anymore you guys are probably like um skip 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 
Um, yeah, I, I don't know. That's a really big speed bump. Holy cow. Alrighty then. Let's cut through here and go on the main road. Um, but yeah, I just, I'm at that stage where I just don't know if I want to keep it or if I want to ride it. So drop your opinions below. You know, because like, I don't have to get rid of it by any means. Like, I, it's fine where it's at, you know, but I can't get an FZ or an MT-07 until I get rid of it. Well, I mean, technically, I guess I could get one, but the thing about that is I would have way too many things to insure. So I definitely would have to give up one of the bikes if I pulled the trigger on an FC or an MT, right? And uh, I, I, I kind of, I kind of want to do it. Not gonna lie, like, I kind of, I kind of want to do it. But then I'll look at the R1, and that's kind of like why I didn't ride the R1 because I knew I wouldn't have this conversation with you guys if I was riding that bike because I feel like she can hear me. You know, I, I don't know, I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah, I know I'm weird, whatever. But um. I don't know like drop a comment below tell me what you think tell me if I'm absolutely like out of my mind or you think like I'm actually being smart like, I, I, I don't know like I'm down for any kind of um oh, what would it be any kind of input I guess um I don't know talk me out of it talk me into it whatever call me crazy call me dumb I, I don't know like whatever tickles or pickle now that I got all that off my chest maybe I can just focus on riding now and just hey buddy and just talk about random stuff like I usually do. I just, I don't know, I wanted, I wanted to tell you guys what's on my mind because I feel like if you're subscribed to my channel, I feel like your input is valid too, right? You know what I'm saying? So I, I gotta tell you guys everything that's on my mind because, yeah, you, you catch my drift? Okay, cool. Oh, there's a bag in the road. Stay, stay, let me get by, stay. Good bag, good bag. Man, I've had these gloves for like ever and like I haven't, they're like these Sadisis or whatever and I think honestly I've had these gloves since I, Started, started, really started riding like I don't know five years ago, six years ago. I don't even know. It's it's been a minute, right? Anyway, I've had like my friends literally their gloves just like tear into pieces, yada yada yada. Like they just don't last them long. And then these gloves have lasted me for freaking like ever for the most part, right? But now I just noticed I finally have a hole in them. It's right there. There's like this tiny little pinhole on my finger. And I'm like, wow, it took them this long. They've been like in the storm. They, I think honestly that's what caused it was that storm that I got caught in. And they got like so wet and then they dried out. And then it just, they were not having a good day. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, I think that's why they finally, a little, little, little bumps, manhole covers, whatever you want to call them. I think honestly that's why they finally, how many times am I going to say that? Anyway, I think that's why they ripped. But I have these really nice pairs of Dionysus or whatever, but they're the ones that come all the way up here, like they're cuffed. And so they're kind of like awkward for me, I guess. Like I, I don't have the suit, you know, the fancy suit and all that fun stuff, but they are really freaking nice gloves. Like the carbon fiber, they're just awkward and they don't breathe. Like these are perforated or whatever, so I can actually like breathe in them. Can't, can't, like, you'd be surprised how clammy your hands get if you don't have a glove that breathes. Like, it's, I don't know. You know, I'm not even gonna lie, I made that left turn back there, and I thought I was going one place, but apparently I, um, I'm going another place. Um, I guess I was talking too much, and, uh, just completely lost track of where I was. And so, now we're just going wherever that way takes me, I guess. Homeboy had a freaking staff! Like, holy freaking Gandalf shaved his beard and lost his robe. You know, fun fact, when I pulled this thing out of the garage, I was like, oh crap, go figure it would need gas, right? Because it was down to like two bars. And then as soon as I like started riding, it went back up to three bars. And I was like, well, freaking Dale, yeah, brother, I don't have to stop and get gas now. I can just <laughs> keep riding until it goes down to two bars or one bar or like whatever. So honestly, I don't even think we'll have to get gas today. I think we're just going to be able to ride and then go back to the house. And the next time we get it out, then I'll put gas in it. I just felt like sharing that with you guys. Blah, 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 blah. What? I just thought like sharing that with you guys because why not? Ooh, old Z car. Nice. Up weeds! Oh my gosh! Ooh, I ain't trying to get smacked by that. I'm just kidding. It, it wouldn't hurt that bad. I kind of exaggerated a little bit. You know, we're on the R3. It wasn't like we're doing <laughs> it's 70 miles an hour around that corner. By God, you know what I'm saying? We were just creeping. I just, I just felt like exaggerating a little bit for you guys. But they really should cut those weeds down. 
going guys we are making our way to 400 subscribers i think we got like 360 now which is super freaking exciting like i'm like oh yeah we're moving on up you know what i'm saying it's exciting guys thank you all for subscribing be sure to <laughs> share my videos with your friends and tell them to subscribe too shameless plug there oh man dude's jigs are broke down man should have bought you a yamaha you wouldn't have had that problem Hi Jack, how's it going? Fancy meeting you here. Oh, get it, get it, pass that. I mean, Passat. Wow, that was a center console laying on the ground right there. Like, explain to me how that comes out of your car. Like, I don't, I mean, maybe, I don't know. I, I'm really, I was gonna say, you know, maybe they went to a junkyard or something and then needed one for their car and it blew out of the bed of their truck. But then I'm like, you know, I think you would have probably strapped it down or so. I don't know. It's just weird to see a console, like the whole center console laying on the side of the road. That's 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 out there. But all right. I guess you know you never know what you're gonna see around here. Um, uh, gotta slow down, or I'm gonna get splashed with the water. You guys ready for this? You guys ready? Vroom vroom. Oh, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm making a fool out of myself. God, my homie's probably laughing like he just ramped up his little r3 calm down guy i'm not being serious right now so i'm not gonna lie it seems we have made a miscalculation on where i'm going so we are about to just turn around right here and go the other way because i don't know where i'm going and it seems like we are just going to ride on the sidewalk because why not Look, this guy's like freaking out. He's like, yo, dog, what are you doing? What are you doing? Are you going? Are you going? Okay, there's a car. There's another car. All these cars are probably looking at me like, why is that guy on the sidewalk? And we're off, finally. I didn't work out like I wanted it to, but like, whatever. I was like, you know, we're going to do something different. We're going to take the sidewalk as opposed to just popping a UE because that's boring. Everybody pops a UE and then I got stuck on the sidewalk forever. Which I mean, I could have been all aggressive and just rode like even more of an ass wad, but you know, I decided I'll just <laughs> end it there. We're about to just uh, hop on the interstate for uh, <laughs> a minute and then hop off somewhere because, uh, yeah, I don't feel like going back through all that water and then you know going down that crappy road again and then blah 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 hoop blah so we're just gonna make it quick and snappy and uh, up on the interstate right here hey buddy he gave me the head nod i was about to be like f you guy but then but then i saw the head nod let's go i'm not gonna put my feet down let's go let's go let's go let's go oh you're in the other lane wow way to go justin you want to pay attention and you couldn't went the whole time but instead he was trying to show off that you wouldn't have to put your foot down a grasshopper 218 boy i bet you that thing is fast i wonder if 218 is the horsepower that thing's got man 218 horsepowers in a lawnmower man I'm, I'm obviously kidding ah, i should have freaking ran that oh there's a zr1 getting on the interstate i saw you i saw you i'll never catch back up to you though so we're not even going to get back on the interstate I love me a ZR1 as a C7 ZR1. It was uh, super sexy. Oh, wowzers, guys. You kind of cut that one a little close, didn't you? All up on my uh, little rear end there. And I know the GoPro is going to make him look farther away than he really is. But, I mean, look at look at this mirror right here, guys. I don't know if you can see that in the angle. But, I mean, he's he's really close. You know, we, we're going to try to make it all day without road raging. I don't think I've road raged yet. I don't, I don't think so. Oh! Alrighty guys, I hope you all enjoyed this uh, video of me just talking about who knows what and then me like actually getting real with you guys for a minute and wanting your opinions. If you did, be sure to leave a like, a comment, a subscribe, share my videos with your friends as I said before and I will see you all in the next one. Later!